you just stole that? Don't <gasps> deny it. I didn't do it. Do you have any proof? Huh? Hmm. Huh? Wow, what is that thing that can show who's the thief is? <laughs> That's a fingerprint, dear. Do you want to know what it is? Yes. Let knowledge click. Fingerprints are tiny ridges on your fingertips. They form patterns like arch, loop, or whirl. Fingerprints start forming when you're still in your mom's belly. Around the third month, they grow as your fingers grow. But wow. their shape never changes your whole life. Oh, so do we have the same fingerprints as our parents or siblings? No, no one in the world had the exact same fingerprints. Even twins don't have the same fingerprints. Fingerprints help you hold things. Because the little lines stop them from sleeping. Yeah. And since everyone has unique prints, they also help with identification and security. <laughs> no! <laughs> Police can solve cases with fingerprints. If a thief touches something in the scene, they might leave a print. Huh? Eh? Hmm. Then the police can check whose fingerprint it is and find out who did it. Yes. Huh. Oh. I thought only dirty hands leave fingerprints. How can clean hands leave them too? Our hands make sweat and oil. It feels the tiny light. When you touch something, it leaves your fingerprint behind. We got it! That's all for now. Stay tuned for our next exploration. <laughs> oh. No! <laughs> oh. Huh? Mm. Uh. <laughs> Wufu, your nails are way too long. Time for a trim. But I just cut them last month. Huh? Your nails always grow. I'll explain why. Let knowledge click. Your nails aren't just for decoration or scratching. They also protect the tips of your fingers. Under your nail, there's a special area called the matrix. Like a factory that's always working. New cells are made and push the old ones up. Together, they build your nail and push it out. That's how your nail grows longer. Mm. Even if you don't oh. feel it, your nails grow a litter every day. <laughs> On average, huh? a fingernail grows about 3 millimeter each month. Mm. So my nails are growing now? Hmm. Huh? Exactly. And since they keep growing, if you don't trim them often, they can get too long and cause all kinds of trouble. That's not everything. Long nails are a perfect hiding place for germs and dirt. If you don't wash your hands well, the germs can sneak into your tummy. From now on, I'll check my nails every week. Let me clip them for you. Pete, wash your hands first. Do you know why we need to keep our hands clean? Let knowledge click! Even though you can see them with your naked eyes, there are lots of harmful bacteria on your hands. If you don't wash your hands properly, bacteria can get into your body 
and cause stomach aches, diarrhea, or even make you say. Besides stomach aches, they can lead to another problem too. Is this all right, huh? Professor Who? Hmm. Huh? Bacteria will stick tightly to your hands if you only use water to wash them. Instead, use soap so it can wash away all the bacteria. First, wet your hands. Second, use soap. Third, scrub thoroughly. Palms. Bags of hands, between fingers and under nails. Four, rinse with clean water. Fifth, dry your hands with a clean towel. Wow! I got it. Hmm. So sweaty. Oh. Mm -hmm. Do you know why we have sweaty hands? Let knowledge click. <laughs> when your body temperature rises due to a physical activity, the brain receives a signal and sends a warning to the sweat glands. Sweat glands are found all over your body. On your face, neck, back, but they are most active on your hands. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Besides playing sports, we can also get sweaty hands in other situation, such as when you eat spicy or hot food, huh? or when you feel anxious or scared. <laughs> Sweaty hands are so annoying. <laughs> you can deal with sweaty hands using a simple method. Wash your hands thoroughly. Yeah. Mm. Carry a handkerchief to wipe them when needed. Cool your hands down by holding a cup of ice water. Why does he have metal teeth, hmm. Mommy? Do they make huh? his teeth stronger? Uh, wow. <laughs> uh. <laughs> He's wearing braces, kiddo. Huh? I'll explain to you. Let knowledge play. You know, our teeth don't always grow in straight. Some teeth like to till, crowd together, or stand whole out of order. That's when braces come in. They like a magical tool that helps teach the naughty teeth to line up properly. The dentists put tiny brackets on each tooth, like giving them a little backpack. Then a metal wire called an arch wire connects all the teeth together. Our jaws are strong, but they can slowly move if we give it the right push. That way, the teeth don't hurt. They move bit by bit over time. When your teeth are straight, the dentist gives you a gatekeeper called a retainer to stop the teeth from running back to their old spot. So, why do we need braces, Dr. Who? Can't you get why? Hmm. After braces, your smile looks nicer. You can chew all kind of food better. Ah. Hmm. Hmm. Ah. Wrong! Ah. Both of them are correct! Wow. Mommy, I want braces too! <laughs> oh! Not everyone needs them. Only oh. if your teeth are really crooked. Mm. The dentist might suggest it. <laughs> Discover everything around us on Wolfu Explore Channel.